Yes, sir. Go ahead. What's your name? My name is Riley. Hey, Riley. Uh, go ahead. So in your book, I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, uh, you quote Einstein's uh, theory of general relativity mm -hmm. as proof for a beginning. Yes. Uh, could you just help me understand how those two things correlate, like a beginning of the earth and uh, his theory? Well, if I was as smart as Einstein, I could. <laughs> but what Einstein's theory generally says is that the general theory of relativity says space, time, and matter are co-relative that they came into existence together. You can't unravel them. And now if you go on YouTube, uh, scientists sometimes try and explain general relativity by these pictures um, and these little films. And if you look at one of them, you'll see that space-time is like a fabric. And if, think about a, a trampoline. If you put a bowling ball in the middle of a trampoline, anything on the outside of the trampoline is gonna go toward the bowling ball, right? Well, that's what space-time is like, that big objects warp space-time. And so if you have a big planet like Jupiter, anything near Jupiter is going to get pulled toward it, toward it, just like a marble would get pulled toward a bowling ball in the middle of a trampoline. And so Einstein is pointing out that space-time and matter are like a fabric, and the fabric had a beginning. Now, Einstein did not like this. When he first discovered this in 1916, he said, man, I don't want it to have a beginning. He wanted the universe to be static and eternal. So he put a counterforce into his equations called a, a cosmological constant, a fudge factor, that contradicted or uh, went against the force of gravity. It kept things static and eternal because gravity wants to pull everything in, and he wanted everything to be static and eternal. And um, he later repented of that cosmological constant. He called it the greatest blunder of his career because the universe did have a beginning. Um, although Einstein was partially right, because there is a cosmological constant. The only difference is, it's not holding the universe static, it's actually accelerating the expansion of the universe, and we really don't know why. So, the short, that's the, the, the most answer I can give you on this very complicated topic, but if you go to YouTube and look up Einstein's theory of general relativity, you'll see all sorts of ways they try and illustrate this. Thank you. All right, thank you.